And new details tonight in the deaths of two teenagers whose bodies were found in Orange County back in September. Thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. That suspect is 17-year-old Isaiah Ross, and he is being charged as an adult in connection to those deaths. CBS 17's Haley Fixler is live for us tonight. Haley, we now have a lot more details about this case, too. Yes, and we are learning so much more because all of those documents have been unsealed. They were previously sealed because Isaiah Ross was considered a juvenile, but now these, this case and these documents have all been moved to adult court. On September 17th, 14 year old Lyric Wood's parents reported her missing. On September 18th, 18 year old Devin Clark's parents reported him missing. Hours later, two people riding ATVs found their bodies in an area of rural Orange County. That set off a multi state search to find 17 year old Isaiah Ross. We don't always know the motive. Based on evidence, deputies believed Ross was the one who shot and killed the two teens. We learned Mr. Ross had fled the state early Sunday evening. They had reason to believe Ross was in Delaware. Investigators shared with the Delaware Violent Crime Safe Streets Task Force where exactly he might be. 18 days after their bodies were located, members of the Safe Streets Task Force were ultimately able to apprehend Mr. Ross. I asked officials about how the team got there. How did Ross get to Delaware and can we expect any arrests here locally as well? Um, I, I don't think the specifics are something we can talk about at that point, at this point. Back here in North Carolina, we've been looking into Ross. He went to Eastern Alamance High School, the same school as Devin Clark, for just six days this year. He was unenrolled on September 3rd. I knocked on the door to his home, listed on court documents. Hi, is one of your parents home? A young girl answered and told me her mom was unavailable. Ross is still being held in a secured juvenile facility without bond and will likely be there until he turns 18 pending this trial. Now, we also know that two people in Delaware have been charged for harboring a fugitive. Ross is next set to be in court next week. Live in Hillsborough, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News.